for a live telecast. Please stay tuned. Has become an example of regional integration to the wider continent. Having achieved all of the uh, all of the above, it saddens me to learn that ECOWAS is threatened with disunity following the announcement by Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. Three important member states of their intention to leave the community. The impact of such a decision will have far-reaching implications for the ordinary citizens who have been the major beneficiaries of regional integration. Therefore, on behalf of all the founding fathers of the community and myself, I urge ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government including the leaders of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, to put aside their differences you know, and reunite for the peace, stability, and prosperity of, uh, of our region. I call on all West African leaders to immediately consider the implementation of the following. Lifting of all sanctions that have been imposed on Burkina Faso, Guinea, Mali, and Niger. Withdrawal by Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger of their notices uh, to leave ECOWAS and three yeah, okay. That's, is it all right now? Sorry. And three participation of all fifteen ECOWAS heads of state. participation of all 15 ECOWAS heads of state in a summit to discuss the future of the community, regional security and stability, as well as the role of the international community given the current geopolitical context. I wish to once more reiterate to regional leaders that ECOWAS is more than a coalition of states. It is a community established for the good of our peoples based on shared history, culture and tradition. Neither my generation, nor present or future generation will understand or forgive the breakup of our community. I thank you all for giving due consideration to this appeal, which has been made with sincerity and deep sense of moral responsibility. I urge all other elders in the sub-region to join me in this campaign to immediately restore unity and shared purpose within ECOWAS. 
let me assure all parties that I am ready for further engagement to ensure that our community is united. Long live ECOWAS and God bless the citizens of our community. Yes, thank you. So this is the voice of uh, a surviving founding father. All the leadership were founding fathers, but uh, I am the surviving one. And I'm sure wherever they are, they are praying for you, for you in this community, and praying for, for, its, uh, for its good. So I pray that all of you will forgive me if I do not entertain any question. We've got to wait until the leadership have heard this message and have received this message, which in fact, I'm addressing to each and every one of them uh, through the president of the community because any discussion now can scatter the whole uh, effort that we are trying to do to be able to bring our brothers back and please to them I say please I'm asking you for the sake of the names of all your leaders at, at, at that time. Is it Hamani Diori? Is it Mr. La, was it Lamizana? Modibe Keita? Uh, you know, or Seko Turi? Please, I can remember them uh, today as I remember them then. All of them eager uh, to really contribute their quota to the success of, uh, of ECOWAS. So you younger ones that are there now, please, whatever has happened, please, whatever has happened, please, please, rejoin, come back, and we will work together to resolve any problem between us. Thank you. It is indeed a very historic day. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. At this point, the President of the Equals Commission will receive the letter. This is the copy of the letter that please you can address to each and every one of them. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And We'll meet again. Thank you. That's a copy of the letter to be translated onwards to the heads of government in the sub-region. Thank you very, very much, Your Excellency. This is indeed a short step towards peace, stability, and prosperity in the region. At this point, we would like to have a translation in Hausa before I hand over the mic to the president. Just a brief in Hausa, so that uh, uh, our house listeners across the sub-region... Wait, wait a minute. No, who, who told you that I'm going to do it in Hausa? My goodness. Look, for almost 89, uh, 80 years, I've only been speaking mostly in, uh, in English. And uh, how, Hausa... Your Excellency, you're not reading. You're not reading, sir. What, what I'm not reading. Yeah, you're just saying, you're just saying, saying yes, My goodness. <laughs> so you have a translation right here. No, 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 it's not. No, in, in fact, I cannot do the translation. No, it's, 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 it's not. It's not. No, you know, this is an ambush. This is a coup. <laughs> you see? This is a coup. Civilians must see your coup. No, 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 no. No, my goodness. Uh, Honestly, look, my house is not is not good enough for me uh, to to say it in in, in house. 
if I'm talking to you, just uh, person to person, whatever uh, rubbish I, uh, you know, I say or, or, or use, you, you might accept. But to, to do this, to go... <laughs> Look, you, you people, I know if I mean, you are very clever, if I mean, you use whatever <laughs> language it is to, to try to get one to speak. Look, I thought I mean, we said that is no. Call no second. Call no second. Okay, please. Please. Now, you can translate it now. I, I want you. Uh, look, I. What? Uh, Alima. So, Alima. Alima. Kizo, Kizo. Uh, you, please, you see, they want me to, to, uh, to sort of say this in Hausa. And I sort of said, look, I'm not in a position. I've forgotten how to do this uh, many years. So, would you.